Hey guys, it's Amanda Panda. Real quick, I wanted to talk to you about the free app called Equestria Amino. It is an awesome community for my little pony fans. You guys can find all kinds of posts ranging from fan fiction to tutorials on how to make an OC pony. This is my page I recently joined. Here's my bio so you can write a little bit about yourself. You can directly write on my wall or anybody else's wall and I can reply and these are all of the posts that I have made so here's some of my most recent customs and I have a poll currently going on on my page to vote for what custom pony I should make next. There are so many ideas that I just couldn't decide. So I am letting all of my followers decide for me. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and download the app Equestria Amino. It is completely free and available on Apple and Android phones. And when you get the app, go and find me, Manda Panda TC. And now on to Fan Custom Friday. Hey guys, it's Amanda Panda and today is Fan Custom Friday where I pick one of my fans custom OC ponies and I make it in real life on my channel. And this is the surprise second Fan Custom Friday for the month, the Halloween edition and the winner is Midnight Dash. Midnight Dash was submitted to me on Instagram by Tiki Cat. Midnight Dash was a huge fan of Nightmare Night but she was always too scared to get dressed up and go celebrate until one year Pinkie Pie came to her house and made her go out and celebrate with her friends and on that day at midnight, Midnight Dash got her cutie mark. What a cool story! Let's get started making Midnight Dash. Fluttershy is going to be transformed today. I'm starting off with a little bit of acetone and I am removing her cutie marks and her eyes. She's going to be getting all new hair, so I need to remove her head. The easiest way to do that is to grab it firmly and twist it to the side until it pops right off just like this. Now I need to remove the neck plugs to get to the hair. Sometimes the neck plugs will come out by pulling them and luckily the part that's connected to the body is coming right out. And let me see if I can pull this off. So there's the first part of the neck plug and the second part is attached to the head. I'm going to grab my pliers here and see if I can pull that out. If you don't have pliers, you could always use tweezers. And it looks like this is really glued in and it is not budging. So I am going to give up on this, grab my X-Acto knife and very carefully, I'm going to make a series of little teeny tiny cuts all around the neck plug until I can just pull it right out. And you can peek inside the head and see all of the glue and hair roots inside. The easiest way to remove the hair is to cut it off first. So I use some big scissors to cut off as much of the hair as I possibly could. And then I'm using some teeny tiny scissors to cut that hair all the way down to the root. Now I'm going to grab my pliers, reach inside the head and pull out all of that glue and all of those hair roots until she's completely bald like this and ready to be customized. Next I'm going to remove her tail. I'm starting off by cutting off as much of the tail as I can and then I'm going to use my pliers to reach into the body and pull out that little bundle of hair. There's also a silver metal washer on the inside and make sure you pull that out or you can have problems when you're trying to give her a new tail later. Before I start painting, I am going to connect both parts of that neck plug together. It's easiest if you use your pliers or tweezers to help you get it over one edge and then you can press the rest down with your fingers and put that aside for later. Midnight Dash is all white, so I'm going to be using this Sally Hansen nail polish in white on and I'm going to completely cover the head and the body. 
and movie magic it's all done this is two layers of nail polish and it looks really good i'm gonna start off by customizing her wings midnight dash has these awesome wings with spider webs and spiders on them i'm using a very fine paintbrush and some black acrylic paint to very carefully draw out the lines of the spider web i'm going to draw four straight lines here all connecting to the same point and then i'm going to switch brushes to an even finer one and draw in the little arches in between each straight line to give it the look of a spider web. And check it out, this looks so awesome. I got the spider webs drawn in on the outside and the inside of the wings. I love this. It's time to draw in some spiders. I'm going to be using a little bit of orange acrylic paint and my dotting tool. And I'm gonna dot on some small little round circles here. And these are gonna be the spider's bodies. I'm going to put three on the outsides of each wing and one on the inside of the wings. So there we go. Now I'm going to use my fine paintbrush and draw in two legs on each side because I can't draw in any more than two since they are so tiny. I'm also going to put little eyes on these spiders. Now it's time for her cutie mark. Her cutie mark is a crescent moon with spider webs right in the middle. This is gonna be a little bit challenging for me because the flank on these small G4 ponies is small and there's a lot of detail in this cutie mark. I'm going to try and make it as good as I can using the finest paintbrush that I have on hand. So there's the crescent moon and the spider web in purple. And there's two little yellow sparkles on each side of the moon. So I'm gonna put those in as well. Once everything has completely dried, I'm going to go over the entire pony with a clear coat of nail polish to seal in all of my work. Now it's time to work on the head. Midnight Dash has slightly cat-shaped, almond-shaped eyes, so I'm gonna use my paintbrush to draw those in on both sides. One eye is red and the other eye is orange, so I'm gonna use acrylic paints for this part. So there's the red eye there. The red eye has a pupil that looks just like a cat, so I'm gonna paint that in once the red has completely dried. So let's get this little scratch-like eye in there and give her a a light reflection down in the corner just like the picture the other eye is orange and it has a circular eye just like that now i'm going to draw in her scar and her eyebrows and just like that the head is all done I'm going to seal in all of my work again with a layer of clear nail polish. Once the nail polish is dried, it's time for hair. I have 
Nectarine, Sour Grapes, and Brilliant Black from DollyHair.com. I've cut the hair into strands that are one quarter the length of the original strand, which is 36 inches. Um, I have a bit of it wrapped around my finger, and I'm going to use my rehairing tool, which is a pronged needle. I'm going to catch the hair right in the center of both prongs, just like that pick up the head and then push the needle into whatever hole you want the hair plug to go into. And just like that, the first hair plug is in. Um, this particular custom has black hair with orange and purple highlight. So I'm gonna go in with the orange and the purple first and then fill in the rest of the head with black. And this purple is a lot darker in real life, but on my camera, it is showing up a little too light. And once you get all of the hair plugs in, you do need to secure the hair or it will fall out. I suggest using no sew glue. I like to pour it directly inside of the head and then use a Q-tip to evenly distribute all the glue on the inside. Next is the tail. I have a bunch of hair here, the black, purple, and orange. I have twist tied it together and I'm pushing it through the tail hole using my pliers but you could also use tweezers i'm reaching in there grabbing the twist tie and pulling it about halfway through remove the twist tie and replace it with a zip tie make sure that the zip tie is tightened as tight as it possibly can because you do not want any of that hair to get loose trim off the excess and pull that tail all the way through it just like that that tail is in super easy last thing is attaching the head back to the body i'm using some gorilla glue to do that let's check out the finished custom here is midnight dash all completed i am in love with her spider wings they are so neat they're perfect for halloween and nightmare night tiki cat i hope that you enjoy your new custom pony and if your pony wasn't selected this month don't be too bummed there's always next month and i am trying to get out more than one per month and if you're new to the giveaway stay tuned for all of the giveaway rules thank you so much for watching little pandas until next time bye want to see your custom oc pony made in real life on fan custom friday it could happen submit a drawing of your oc pony along with a short story about him or her and be sure to include the oc's name once a month i will choose one pony to create in real life on my channel anyone can enter no matter where you live and it's completely free. I'll even mail you the finished pony as long as you have a valid mailing address. And I now ship worldwide. So it doesn't matter where you live. As long as I can ship there, you will get your OC if it's selected. And shipping is completely free also. Giveaway rules. You must be a subscriber to this channel. When you submit your OC drawing, please also send in your YouTube name so I can verify that you are indeed a subscriber. And if you're under 18, you must get your parents' permission before entering the giveaway because if your OC is selected, I will need your address to mail it to you. There are three different ways to submit your OC pony. You can either message me on Facebook or comment on my Facebook page, facebook.com backslash mandapandatoycollector. You can message me on Instagram at mandapandatoycollector, or you can mail me your drawing and your story to mandapanda P.O. Box 65105, San Antonio, Texas 78265.